Coopersville is most known as a small town with a growing number of small businesses. Many of the owners know their customers well and trust them. There's 13 on your side, Lakeshore reporter Noel Frompson explains one of those business owners is grappling with that trust after someone stole from his roadside produce stand. The produce is always changing. But the staff at Off the Tracks Food and Grocery in Coopersville can count on two things. Every day. That Ed Every will show day. up for his daily snack and chit chat. <laughs> it's like family. And that John Hubert, AKA Big John. Big John Hubert will be checking on their roadside produce stand just down the road. We got uh, zucchini, some tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. He recently moved the stand to the corner of 48th Avenue in Ironwood Drive. People stop to pick out their produce and place cash in a box that's left out. It's the honest system. You know. Big John had even bigger trust in the community, which hurt even more when he says someone stole the money from the lockbox twice in the last week. The lock was busted off and the money was gone. You know, they say third time's a charm and hopefully they can catch them. After the second break-in, Hubert says he thought about installing a security camera here at the produce stand, but in the end, he figured that would probably be taken as well. It is what it is. You know, it depends on how much money you want to put in your stand. It's always the bottom line, you know. Hubert reported the theft to the Ottawa County Sheriff's Office. They're looking into the incident, but suggested he remove the money from the stand every night. Two, three, four, five. Counting up the day's haul, Big John says he'll keep his routine through Halloween. No, I'm not packing up. I'm not giving up. That and his trust in Coopersville. Yeah, I won't give up on the community at this point, you know, but it's hard to, to fathom somebody, you know, would do that. Noah Fromson, 13 on your side. Seven months now 